protect what's between our two ears. Mm. It is the most precious thing that God has given us in our anatomy. That is our mind. Yes. What have you allowed to creep in your mind? And lately, because we've been teaching you so well, that's what I'd like to think. <laughs> what's been exiting from your mind? As we've been dealing with strongholds, we found that there were a lot of strongholds that we have been incurring yes. over time. Yes. And so the last couple of weeks, we've gotten testimonies of the individuals casting down imaginations. We've got yeah, testimony yeah. from individuals of recognizing their strongholds. And so we believe that the stronghold teaching has freed some of us tremendously. That means that you've taken your mind seriously. The fact that your mind must be guarded. Yeah. You know, I used to watch a a cartoon, and it, within the cartoon, it would be a treasure. And the little guy would say, guard it with your life, mm. right? Guard it with your life. Well, you must guard your mind with your very life. In other words, your mind is the central, central station, if you will, yes. for thought. It's the central station for decisions to be made. That's right. It is the divine center of choice. Your mind yeah. is your will. It houses your intellect. It houses mm. your emotion. That's good, Pastor. It houses your compartments. And so we want to tell you this morning to guard your mind, to continue to guard your mind, to continue to guard what comes in, and what goes out. Yes. And in order to guard something, another word for that would be protect. Protect your mind. You know, lastly, I remember a commercial that used to come on. And they would say, a mind is a, a terrible, terrible thing, thing to, to waste. waste. So they were talking, even then, the world understood. Mm. Protect your mind. Amen. And so this morning, let's get into protecting our mind. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise God. To God be all the glory. All the glory. Hallelujah. Let's give it up for Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For he's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. So here it is today. We're going to be talking about, as Pastor Kofi said, protecting our mind. And th there's a scripture that says that we to guard our heart, right? Yes. So when we were doing this study, a word study, and I want to plug this in with you all that you can use a free online tool which is titled the blue letter bible yes with the key verse keep in mind it's philippians chapter 4 verses 6 and 7, seven. we're really excited at least i know i am to share to what we have learned about the meaning of guard your heart yes. and protect your mind philippians chapter 4 verse 7 it reads in this manner and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. When we look at the, the, the two words in that particular verse of Philippians 4, 7, will guard the Greek word and the pronunciation of that. Furo. <laughs> Furo. P-H-R-O-U-R-E-O. Amen. And so the definition here is to guard, 
protect by military guard, mm. either to prevent hostile invasion Come on now, or to keep the inhabitants of a besieged city from flight. Are you hearing this? Let's take a closer look at the definition. Hmm. Our heart and mind are being guarded to prevent a hostile invasion. Hmm. Hostile means antagonistic or oppositional. Uh -huh. An invasion means unwelcome intrusion. Hmm. We all have had some unwelcome and antagonistic and intrusive thoughts at times, right? I know uh -huh. I have. Yeah, I have. These kinds of thoughts are lies that oppose the truth of God. Uh -huh. The second part of the definition in this particular verse is to keep the inhabitants of a, of a besieged city, city yes, from fleeing. From fleeing, my God. Think about how unexpected promises and character of God. No, let me go back. Think about how unexpected circumstances or the hard seasons can make it hard. Mm. To hang on to the promises and the character of God. Why? Because of the way that we think. Because mm -hmm. we're not always protecting our mind. We're not thinking on those things that are pure and those things that are holy. Mm -hmm. Like inhabitants fleeing a city, truth has a way of fleeing our mind in the hard places of life. Mm -hmm. Right? That's why we have to be careful in creating stories. Mm -hmm. Protect your mind as we guard our hearts. Mm -mm -mm. You want to say something, Pastor? Go ahead. I just want to highlight go. something and kind of captivate what you just mentioned. Remember earlier we said we were learning through strongholds yes. to protect what's going in yes. and also what's going out. Yeah. From intrusive thoughts you spoke of earlier, mm -hmm. that was powerful. And to guard Amen. unwelcome intrusion, right? Yeah, yeah. And antagonistic yes. thoughts, right? Yes, yes. Well, the other thing you said was it keeps the inhabitants of a besieged city, city from, from doing what? what? Fleeing. Fleeing. Mm -hmm. So, in other words, when information comes in yeah, yeah. your mind that God put there, yes. when you protect your mind, you keep that information from fleeing. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's powerful about what you just said. Yeah. You keep, you get the information mm -hmm. in what God wants you to have. Yeah. But the Bible says that Satan comes to immediately. Yeah. He comes immediately to steal yeah. the word that's sown. Yes. In your heart. That's right. Pastor. So literally when he's. When God gives you the information, okay. when God gives you that word, yeah, yeah. when God gives you that illuminated, revelated word, yes. the, immediately the devil comes to steal it and take it away. Yes. And so what we're saying is that besieging, that I'm going to keep what just came in from God from fleeing yes. my mind. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Guarding is necessary. To hang on to the truth hidden in our hearts. Uh -huh. And to block the lies that are trying to make their way into our heart and mind. And Pastor, you just said that. Yes. So the guarding is also a preventative yes. defined by Strong's Biblical Dictionary uh -huh. as a watcher in, in advance. advance. Amen. Uh -huh. As a watcher in advance. At the beginning of verse 7, it says the peace of God is what guards before the lies come in and before the truth please. Now let's look at the Greek word for heart. Mm. Greek word cardia, for yes. cardia. Thank cardia. you. The Greek word for heart is defined as the center of spiritual and physical life. Yes. It also defined as the fountain and the seat of thoughts, uh -huh. passions, desires, appetites, mm -hmm. affections, purposes, Purpose, and endeavors. Yes, Amen. Absolutely. The heart is also the center of our understanding and intelligence mm. will and character yes. from this definition when we look at it it's pretty clear how powerful our heart is in our life mm -hmm. it impacts how we understand the world around us praise god that the peace of god has the power to guard our heart yes, amen it does. we can also praise god that we're not left to the care and the shaping of our mm. heart. Why? Because see, God works in and through us with all the matters of the heart. Hallelujah. Yes, he does. I will give you a new heart Come on now. and put a new spirit in you. Come on now. We're coming from Ezekiel on that one, right? Yes. Chapter uh -huh. 36, verses 26 and 27. Yes, yes. I will remove from your heart a stone 
and give your heart of flesh. Okay. And I will put my spirit in you hmm. and move you to follow my decrees and be careful to keep my laws. Hmm. Hmm. So when we look at the Greek word for mind in my ND, it's noema. N-O-E-M-A. <laughs> Amen. And so, as I said, we use the blue letter Bible for to get different definitions. So the different definitions of the mind that they gave was mental perception, uh -huh. thought. Perception is defined as becoming aware of something through our senses. Okay. Well, what are our senses? Our nose, our eyes, our ears, right? Yes. What we taste. What we taste, what we see, what we hear, right? Yes. Are, 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 are some of our senses. Uh -huh. What Proverbs uh, 3 say about that? Come on. Come on. You tell me. Trust. In the what? In the Lord. Yes, sir. With all thy heart. And lean not to thy own Lord understanding, but in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. My, my, my. So we are told, we, we, we're told not to lean on our own, own understanding uh -huh. or our perception, but rather we are to trust the Lord. Amen. We're yes. to trust God. So how many of us have tempted day by day, every day, to perceive life based on tangible things? See, yeah. oftentimes we determine emotions such as fear, yes. hopelessness, anxiety, based on what we see, uh -huh. based on what we hear. Based on how we feel. Yeah, but our gracious God says, don't do that. I have something more for you. Let my peace guard your heart and mind. Mm -hmm. We have a responsibility to protect our mind. Do not be anxious about anything. But in every situation, by prayer and petition, yes. with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Yes. And the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts Amen. and your minds Amen. in Christ Jesus. Amen. We know Philippians 4, 6 and 7. That's right. We know that we've heard this, we've read it, but the question that we ask today, are you applying it? Mm. Are, mm. You applying are you applying it? Are you applying it? You want to say something, Pastor? No, I just want to to say to our ILM family, repeating the question, are you applying it? Yeah, yeah. Are you, are you applying it? Are you guarding your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus? Yeah, yeah, Amen? Yeah. yeah. So we're going to give you one point before we leave this morning, right? And we want you to consider Philippians 4, 6, and 7. Yes. As you deal with the first point that yeah. we have for today. Yeah. We're going to yeah. leave you with the first point today. Yeah. Because again, we want to make sure that you're able to concentrate on the information yeah. we've been giving you. Yeah. Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor. Amen. And so as Pastor said, I, I want to let you all know that we do have three points. But today we're going to share one. That way it will give you an opportunity to what? What we're doing in, in Bible study to be able to hear the word uh -huh. number one right because faith comes by what hearing hearing yes the word of god right uh-huh but it'll also allow you to be able to go back and read it and read the word and to read it so what Amen. can we learn from this word study about guard your heart and and mind protecting your your mind and guarding your heart mm -hmm. we're going to share number one the invitation for participation mm. Number one is the invitation for participation. Come on now. Paul tells us that the peace of God is what guards your heart and mind. Mm -hmm. Does God just give me that peace? Mm. Or do I have to do something for that peace? Mm -hmm. What's the answer? Live chat. Come on, tell us. The answer is yes to both. See, God's spirit dwells in you and it, his spirit dwells right. in me, right? That's right. And, and if we put our faith in, in Christ, Christ that's right. peace is the fruit of the spirit dwelling in you. Come Galatians chapter Galatians. 5 verse 22. That's right. But Paul also gives us an indication of our part uh -huh. in acquiring that peace in verse 6. Yes. He plainly states, Prayer plus supplication plus thanksgiving equals the peace of God. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say that again, but I'm going to slow it down. Mm -hmm. Prayer plus supplication 
plus thanksgiving oh, equals the peace of God. Mm. See, sometimes we're not experiencing that full peace that we need. It's because maybe we're praying, but we're not being thankful. Mm. Or maybe we're very thankful, but we're not praying. Mm. And so the two, they go simultaneously. They, they match each other, right? They're related Absolutely. to each other. Absolutely. Again, some of us are not praying, but this is our invitation mm. for participation mm. in the peace of God guarding your heart and mind. Hallelujah. Guarding your heart and your mind. Yes. Hallelujah. When you come back with us next week, we're going to give you an invitation of transformation. That's right. Amen. 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 But listen, right now we're dealing with the heart mm -hmm. and the mind. And the mind, yes. To protect what God has given you. Yeah. That includes not letting everybody in it mm. and not letting the valuables out of it to be escaped. In other words, if you let value out of your mind, yeah, yeah. it's not an escape. It's in order to help. It's in order for God's That's word right. not to come back void. That's right. So when you speak the word of God over someone's life, mm. that's not the word escaping you. Let that flow. And they say, let it go. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Let it go in Tokyo. In other words, <laughs> let that go as much as you can. But what I'm referring to is the jewels. You know, That's not casting to. your pearls mm. amongst the swine. Mm. In other words, not giving your value Glory. to individuals who are too ignorant, that means they ignored knowledge. Mm. You're trying to give them knowledge and they ignored it, That's right. right? To per have perception of what you're saying. Yeah. But yet, let the Holy Spirit guide you as you communicate with people and let the Holy Spirit yes, tell you Lord. whom is open to receive the yeah. information or the pearls that you have. And let the Holy Spirit guide you as to what to intake yes, yes, inside yes. of that beautiful yes. mind that you have. Amen? Amen. All right. Well, listen, we hope that you caught the value this morning of what we're saying, which is to protect your mind and guard, guard your, heart your heart with all diligence. With all diligence. Yes. Because if you do this recipe... You're able to be transformed mm -hmm. into God's image. Amen? Amen. All right. Well, listen, if you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, reach out to him this morning, yes. right where you are. Just simply ask the Lord to come into your heart. It's nothing complicated. Mm -hmm. He's been waiting for this very moment yes. to happen. Yes. He was hoping, hey, you guys shut up so I can get them in my kingdom. Mm. Amen. And so here we are giving you the invitation, the initial invitation of transformation, hey, which is to accept the Lord Jesus Christ mm. as your Lord and Savior. Reach out to him now. Say, God, come into my life. Jesus, rather, come into my life yes. and save me. Thank you. Fill me full of your spirit yes, God. so that I might know what I need to know Thank about you, you yes. so yes. that I can change into your image. Yes, thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. In Amen. Jesus name. Amen. And just like that, you are going to heaven. Hallelujah. You are saved. Your name has been written mm. in the Lamb's Hallelujah. Book of Life. And that is a reason for us to celebrate Hallelujah. right now. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Again, we hope you caught the value because as we're giving this value, the one number one thing that we're motivated is we're motivated by love. Because yeah. ILM loves you. you. But, but more, more importantly, God loves you. Peace. God bless you. Blessings. We'll see you soon.